Man, gather round. OG Silk back here. And today I'm going to share with you some tales of victory and glory as I discuss with you why it's important for each and every man to study a combat based martial arts. I first and foremost wanted to say that uh, I wanted to make this video here because, um, uh, let's see here, I'm trying to read this here. Yeah, uh, Victor Kovac over here on my Patreon, he asked me to extrapolate on the importance of martial arts. I think this is important for all you guys, not just Victor, but thank you, Victor, for asking me to elaborate on it. So here's a here's a here's a skinny on the whole thing, guys, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you uh, based on my experiences in life as a person who has done martial arts and then hasn't done martial arts for whatever reason. I'll explain that to you guys. So the first and foremost is, um, I think it's the most apparent is you have to be able to defend yourself, man. Like this is very interesting. So uh, I've always been doing coaching calls. Some of you guys here on Patreon have taken coaching calls from me. Some of you haven't, the ones who haven't. I encourage you to Take the coaching call, not because I need the $100, man, but because this is going to be life-changing for you because I'm 62 years old. I've, 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 I've had a very life. My life has been like a roller coaster ride. I've had ebbs and flows, highs and lows, man. I've learned how to pull myself up from the lows, and I've learned how to keep my head, keep my feet on the ground when I'm, my head's so high into the clouds. And this is important because I wanted to share with you that... Um, when I first got into martial arts, I was a little weak kid with sickle cell anemia, and that's a blood disorder that doesn't allow you to properly process nutrients or oxygen. So I couldn't play sports, I couldn't run, I was a little weak, sick kid. And unfortunately in the hood, it's a different environment to, for where some of you square guys are from in the hood, the weak and soft to get taken advantage of, dude, and to get just exploited, right? So my dad put me into martial arts and early on I learned that even a small weak dude, if you learn if you know where to strike the most vulnerable points in the human being's body, you can take out the biggest, strongest guy or at least debilitate him so that he stops whooping your ass, right? So I'm sharing this with you because the first lesson in martial arts is self-preservation. It teaches you to defend yourself against those who would um, inflict pain or damage or harm to you as a human being because as human beings we all have the right to live a life full of bullying or infringements or people imposing their will upon you right so that's the number one self-preservation and self-defense number two which I find is um, it gives you a confidence man and uh, it's hard to explain in this like when you talk to people like from the movie The Matrix when you talk to people about, oh, you know, I can't explain what the matrix is. You got to see it for yourself. Just the daily training, like to be a good martial artist, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna break martial arts down into, into two distinct martial arts. I'm gonna call them combat sports, and then I'm gonna call it theoretical science. No, let's call it theoretical fiction. Let's call it that. So the combat sports for me is like. Boxing, kickboxing, full contact karate, taekwondo, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and judo. Those are contacts because you, you, you learn by doing. Even uh, Filipino martial arts like the stick fighting. You learn by doing, dude. Like You, you got to get in the ring. You got to put the gloves on. You got to punch, get punched. You kick. You got to get kicked. You got to get slammed. You got to get flipped. Experience is the best teacher because then you understand where you are and the market value. So there's a market value for everything. Business, social hierarchy, pecking order, sexual market value. So just as a man, like don't get into this westernized understanding that all oh, men and women are equal. I'm not talking about in the eyes of God and in the eyes of the law. I'm talking about our roles in society even if you're into this gender fluidity, 
I don't want to address that. I want to address like the, the, the polar opposites, the binary. Let's just say men and women. Well, I'm going to reverse it. Women like flashy things like this. So we're going to say this is the women and men like military stuff like this. If you don't know what this is, I'm not going to tell you. So this is men, this is women. We're polar opposites, dude. We have different roles. Men are provider, protectors, hunter, gatherers, adventurers, and women are home keepers, bro. Women make a house a home. Like men build houses, women make it a home with like flowers and and rugs and and nice smelling things and all this kind of pictures and stuff like that, TVs and stuff. Women are home nurturers, let's call it that, man. Men are built to go out into the wild. So I understand you young guys, <laughs> you were born in a generation in a time where you go out in the wild through a computer. Like you play these computer games where you're conquering nations and you're going through forests and jungles and fighting barbarians, right? Yay for you. My generation and the generation before me actually had to go into the jungles and the forests and the <laughs> uncivilized lands to go out and seek, whether it's new lands, food, animals for food and clothing and shelter. So you had to be able to wage war, whether it's against the elements or animals or other warring tribes. So you got to learn to protect yourself. So that's number two, a sense of self-confidence. Number three, and I think the most important, guys, this is the most important aspect of martial arts. It teaches you respect. It teaches you to respect yourself because you know that, number one, your body is your temple and is your weapon, and it is how you're going to defend yourself. So you're going to do daily exercises not just punching and kicking in the elbows and knees, but push-ups and sit-ups and jumping jacks and burpees, pull-ups and dips, squats, running, right? Swimming. Because you know that he who gasses out first or, or loses um, his endurance loses the fight. So you then understand that what you, you are what you eat. So you're going to eat a lot of more vegetables and fruit, drink a lot of water, cut out the sodas and processed foods cut back on the meat, you know, specifically like steak and pork and try to eat more fish and, uh, you know, chicken, more beans and legumes and stuff like that. You really want to get into your health and stretching and just being limber, right? And it teaches you a respect for other people because even if you view yourself as superior to somebody physically or mentally or with your skill set, you have a respect and a reverence for the fact that this is one thing I've learned about martial arts, and I want to get back into the, the 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 combat sports and the theoretical hypothesis martial arts, right? And I'm laughing because, you know, I feel that and I talk to all my guys here on Patreons who've had the pleasure of doing a coaching call with me. I talked to you about the importance of doing combat martial arts first. No, because then you understand timing range, distance, speed, accuracy, all that kind of stuff. Dynamics, physics, you understand that from getting your ass whooped. Because when you get in your ass whooped, you quickly learn what to do and what not to do because you don't like getting punched in the face and kicked in the stomach and slammed to the ground where your head gets fucking concussions and shit, right? You're seeing stars, right? So... And there's a different level of conditioning. I've found a lot of people that I know that are my friends that are into triathletes and, and uh, Ironman type of uh, endurance activities or runners or swimmers or bikers. And they're very fit people. Maybe they even do Zumba and uh, cardio dancing and stuff, right? But then when they come to a, a real boxing or kickboxing class, a real Taekwondo or full contact karate class or wrestling or jujitsu class, they very quickly understand it's a different type of fitness. And I'm going to give you an example before I proceed. Let's say you have two guys, man. One guy, all he does is wrestle all day, every day, like eight hours a day. Let's just keep it realistic, you know. You got eight hours to do your chosen profession, right? Let's just say your job. And then you got eight hours of play because there's 24 hours a day. So let's say you're 
you're like me, your play is an educational thing where it builds you up as a human being. So let's just say you get off work and you don't, you don't have a girlfriend because you live in a stoic, minimalistic lifestyle, Sigma male. And you just wrestle, you get off work, you wrestle for eight hours a day with other trained wrestlers. You just grapple and roll and wrestle and struggle against other men. And then you sleep eight hours, that's your day. And you do this for a whole year, follow me. But then you got another guy, let's say it's your twin brother, all he does, he gets off work, he just goes running. He's a long distance runner. He runs up hills and mountains and runs down valleys and runs over streams and trails and then he just runs, right? The guy can run like a motherfucker. Let's just say that. So then let's just say you guys go on vacation. And I want to keep this real for you because when you go on vacation to these foreign countries, everybody doesn't have your best intention in mind. So let's just say you, you meet a horde of, let's just keep it simple. Ten guys, ten thugs, man, that look to do you bodily harm. They want to take your jewelry. They want to take your credit cards, your money. And they may want to take your life just because they don't want witnesses left around. So you and your brother say to yourself, your twin brother, hey, we're going to divide and conquer. You take five, I'll take five. I'm here to tell you, your brother who's the runner ain't going to be able to do a fucking thing because his, 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 his mode of training is to run. So after he gets a couple of socks in the jaw, man, and kicks in the belly, He's going to run away like Forrest Gump. He's going to run, Forrest, run. And you, my friend, with your skill in wrestling and rolling and grappling, man, it's going to be very easy for you when the guy throws a punch. You're just going to go ahead and do like duck down and do what's called a double leg takedown, pick him up, slam him to the ground. That's one down. Then another guy is going to swing. You're going to go ahead, come down, do a single leg takedown, pick him up, slam him into his homeboy where his head busts his homeboy's head open and then slam him to the ground. That's three down. And then another guy's going to grab you from the back and you're going to go ahead and do a judo toss over your shoulder where his face goes into his homeboy's face. Boom! And then he slam him to the ground. That's five down. Now, unfortunately for you, you took care of your five and your brother with his bitch ass because he's a runner and runners run. It's fight or flight, my friend. This is what animals do. We fight, we flight, or we fuck. It's the three Fs. Your brother is a fuck, so he just runs away and leaves you there. The other five guys, unfortunately for you, you're, you're getting tired and this is reality. They beating the shit out of you. They beat you to death. So then your brother runs home and just has a nice obituary for you. My brother was a great man. So I'm sharing that with you because um, in this video where I'm telling this tale to you, it's very important that you understand you got to get your striking down because it teaches you distance. It teaches you distance. It teaches you speed. It teaches you accuracy. This is my job to get the distance. And once I got the distance, this is my power. You turn into it. It teaches you physics, anatomy, and geometry. So I wanted to share that with you because when if you're new um, to looking into the world of martial arts, man. Don't be taking no fucking Krav Maga and Commando Krav Maga and, and Japanese Jiu Jitsu and, uh, and uh, Combat Hap Keto. All these fictional martial arts that they go, okay, man, grab me on my shoulder and then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, you know, grab me with both hands. I'm going to cool ya, yo. I'm just here to tell you, man, that's, that's the importance of doing combat arts, punching and kicking, because let me tell you something. I would say if you wanted to uh, pick a martial arts, like your first martial arts, I'm going to tell you my opinion. I say the first one is MMA, which is, stands for mixed martial arts. And a true mixed martial arts school has a cage, and it has a ring, and it has a mat. That's how you know you're in a mixed martial arts school. And every day they offer a different class. Like one day they'll have grappling. The next day judo. The next day they'll have Brazilian jiu-jitsu. The next day they'll have punches and kicks. The next day they'll have knees and elbows. The next day they'll have like transitions, right? You become a well-rounded fucking fighter. Let's just say, because a lot of you guys I talk to on the coaching calls, you're living in the boondocks, you don't live by MMA gym. The second one, 
I would go to is a Muay Thai fucking gym. Muay Thai boxing. That to me, the reason is second is because Muay Thai doesn't have, you know, grappling. Yeah, they have clinching. Grappling is not the same. Muay Thai, when somebody hits the ground, the, 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 the referee lets them get stand back up. MMA is not, the, the, the fight goes to the ground. If you don't have a Muay Thai gym where they teach you elbows and knees and clinching, then I would say to you, join a kickboxing gym. And if they don't, if there's no kickboxing gym, then join the boxing gym. Now, let's just say you, you only have a boxing gym in your area, then I would then look to have a wrestler go to a wrestling school. So then you got your stand up, which is your boxing. Boom, 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 boom. And then if somebody grabs you, pop, you know how to wrestle. So if you have any questions, man, if it wasn't clear, email me here on the Patreon. If you don't want to email me on Patreon, email me at ogsilverback971 at gmail.com. And hopefully this has helped you guys, man, because I want everybody to be free and happy and live a good life.